I spent almost every day curled up in the fetal position. I prayed for an end to the suffering. For two more years, I'd be in my own private hell. You get headaches. You can't focus on anything. The light bothered me. I couldn't look at television. I couldn't eat. I couldn't chew. You have deep, deep depressive, high, high highs, low lows. In May of 1984, Bert flew to Fort Lauderdale for the opening of Bert and Jack's, a restaurant he opened with his friend Jack Jackson. But he never made it to the restaurant. Nauseousness, weak on arriving. I skipped the festivities and I had to go to bed. Hotel doctor, summoned late at night, gave me a shot of morphine to relieve the pain. And he told me I needed to sleep. Take some of these, he suggested. Put a small bottle on the nightstand. It had something new, halcyon. Well, I popped three halcyon. Wait a minute. Miraculously, as the halcyon started to relax me, my jaw quit hurting. The first time in months, I fell in love with something that would prove to be the only drug in my life that would rule me. Halcyon is a terrible pill. What I found out was when they gave me a couple of Halcyon to sleep, it relaxed the jaw enough that the pain went away for the first time. So I took them to go out. I said, let me have 10 Halcyon and I'll go do that speaking engagement. It was the only thing that took the pain away. Of course, you didn't feel pain. It didn't feel anything. It put you out. I was a zombie. But I didn't care. Who would have done anything for relief? I kept taking Halcyon. My tolerance went up. But I was sleeping longer and longer. The only time Bert left his bed was to see a new doctor, and he traveled all over the country looking for a cure. Every diagnosis pointed to the same problem. TMJ. The temporal mandibular joint is a double hinge joint on either side of your lower jaw, where it connects to the rest of your mouth, allowing for movement in all directions. There's no real known cure. Some people actually kill themselves after years of nausea and pain. Open your mouth! Bert was presented with several options, including therapy, along with specially designed dentures to help stabilize his jaw. So I went to a dentist, and they all told me that I could wear these things and work. You know, you tell me if this would be a problem. <laughs> I don't think it was a problem. I can speak well. You can understand everything I say. I said, try to make something a little more realistic. That is a little too obvious, yeah. yeah. Well, of course I could work with you. You no know, problem whatsoever. And every once in a while, they slip. Oh. And you go, bona sera, bona sera, bona sera. I think for $35,000, it's a steal. The medication that he took didn't seem to do the job. So if the doctor said take two, he was going to take five. If he said take five, he'd take ten. Sour shit. By this time, Bert was taking an enormous amount of pills just to make it through each day. When you're a celebrity and you do have an addiction or a problem and there's a need there for that, there's always somebody around who will get what you need, even though your own doctor will not prescribe it for you any longer. When it got to where blinding headaches, ringing in my ears, and dizziness prevented me from seeing, reading, and thinking straight, I signed over power of attorney to a new business manager. We had come up with a new chain of restaurants called Pofolks. I jumped on board and we expanded with great success in Florida. See, Pofolks is only in the South. And what they do is they write the menu like you pull, because you pull, it must mean you're stupid. I used to own a few of them. Yeah, so? Now there's a rumor about Burt Reynolds. The rumor is Burt Reynolds has AIDS. It was so unfair, and it was during the time when AIDS was talked about. My deteriorating health somehow gave rise to the rumors that I was dying of AIDS. I think it was started originally by someone as a joke. <laughs> I think that there's a feeding frenzy, that there's a story here, and it's too good of a story for them to let go. You can't talk to those guys. They just sort of make up their own story. You got it. So I'd pull fire out here, and then another fire would start there. I was in hospitals in this place, and hospitals in that place. I was in Acapulco for a vacation and fun and sun, and it was reported that I died. I, somebody has to have some kind of credibility. I would think when they call up and say, he died, I, I wouldn't think they'd just say, print that. No, I would think they'd say, who is this calling, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But say, give me that, son of a bitch. I've been trying to be very social lately just to show <laughs> that I'm not dead. Shit. It was around this time that Burt walked away from the starring role of the film Power, directed by Sidney Lumet and co-starring the great Gene Hackman. 
He was replaced by Richard Gere, who can be seen here with his bird-style mustache. I physically didn't think I could do it. I had done too many pictures in a row. It still taken its toll on me. I was too thin, too tired. But it was because it was such an important project. I didn't want to go into it at 80%. I just told Sydney, I'll show up. I'll be at 80%. I'd like to be at 110. It was an interesting time. That's when you find out who your friends are. And they left. They left in droves. Lonnie stood by Bert during this time, and in his autobiography, My Life, Bert said that he looked to her for strength. Personally, Lonnie was sensational. Somebody should write how much class and dignity she had through all this. Unfortunately, during that time, Bert was abandoned by many who he thought were his friends. There were a lot of people that didn't show up during that two years, but I saved so much money in Christmas cards. There were a lot of people that surprised me and did. Clint Eastwood, who, not that I'm surprised that Clint was so supportive, but it isn't well known that he's this humanitarian, which he is. What helped, really, was Johnny Carson. Number one, I'm you not dying. He is not dying. Well, I may be dying, but I'm not dead. not dead. I went on that show, and we made jokes about how skinny I was. Bird was sick. He wasn't. He was having trouble. You know, people say he was. He was ill. He had that inner ear problem. He lost his balance. How many girls did you fall off? <laughs> then God's mighty wrecking ball found more of me to hit. A poor folk restaurant chain went belly up. It was a bad, bad time. Shit! I lost everything. As bad as things were, Bert finally got some relief from his pain and suffering, starting with a visit to the House of Hearing Institute. They inserted little plastic tubes in my ears. Instantly, my nausea and dizziness vanished. Over the next few months, Bert worked with dental specialists to help with the alignment of his upper and lower jaw, the final stage of his recovery from TMJ. With the pain and nausea all but gone, I got completely disgusted with myself. Unbeknownst to everyone except Lonnie and perhaps a few really close friends. I was hooked on drugs. I took painkillers because I liked them. You got any perks? Yep, here. Yeah. It took away the pain, which was important at that time. I really put you in la la land. To numb the pain, I received occasional shots of morphine. The more worrisome. Well, make sure you don't give them any more of those goddamn pills. I gobbled up to 50 halcyon. Yeah. I realized that's insane. <laughs> Not only had Bert become dependent on pain meds, he was about to find out that his investments weren't exactly growing his fortune. The poor folks left me millions of dollars in the hole. Nobody had wanted to tell me the news when I was flat on my back. I'm way over 40 and I'm broke. I got about $52 in the bank right now. I had to generate income, but I couldn't do that. I was on drug. Halcyon beat me very near death. Bert decided to try to go cold turkey from his Halcyon addiction and went back to his home in Jupiter, Florida. Nobody knew I was home except my assistant. When the security guy called me, he says he's just not talking. He's just sitting in a chair. I called his manager to let him know because I always had to do that because of the publicity. He said, well, you can't go to the hospital. He can't. I said, well, I'm not going to sit here and watch him die. You going to come in and do that? Rushed to the hospital. I sank deeper into the gray netherworld that defies life and death. He was going through a withdrawals from medication because he was clearing things up. By the time Lonnie arrived, my heart had sputtered to a near standstill. Several times, it had slowed to where the doctor suggested it might be time for her to say goodbye. The doctor said to me in the hospital, I'm afraid he's not going to make it through the night. And I thought, don't you dare die. Lonnie got up from my bed and told the doctor about my addiction to Halcyon. Doctor jumped on it. He just found the missing link. A shot of liquid volume jump-started my heart. By the next day, I was out of a coma. But they've got it now in some hospital rooms. You are in control of the pain. This shit is great. Why would anybody leave there? <laughs> <laughs> I love this fucking place. Yeah, be careful with that. Days later, I sneaked out of the hospital in order to avoid vulture-like tabloid reporters. I checked out at 2 a.m. Bert entered a detox program at his home as he slowly came off the pills. Well, that's ridiculous. Now healthy and having put back on over 30 pounds, Bert was anxious to get back to work, but was no longer considered a top box office draw. I was down. When you can't get a table at McDonald's, it's not a good thing here. Bert's fans were thrilled to see him recover and eventually get back to work. Uh, I feel a lot better, and I appreciate all the people that have been concerned. Get well, Todd. 
like to a million different addresses. Oh, that's very sweet, honey. And I, I really do appreciate it. The reason that I did get well is because of people like you. After years of ruling the box office, the cold reality of Bert's film career was only a phone call away. like and subscribe to get notified about new videos and original Burt Reynolds content right here on the Gator McCluskey channel.